Uh, we are going to play the Alien Cube, and I've had this on my wish list, and it recently came out, and uh, I have actually no idea what it's about or what to do in a game, so I'm just gonna go. Yes. The most merciful thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its contents. We live on a placid island of ignorance in the midst of a black seas, a black seas of infinity, and it was not meant that we should voyage far. H.P. Lovecraft. Beautiful. Chapter 1, the event. There's a body. Where am I? What am I doing here? Oh shit. Fuck? Are you alive? Can I lower you? Press left. Well, was it left? Oh, I have to change this. There we go. Oh, okay. A little bit better, but way too much. Um, maybe this is better. Best. Okay, perfect. Let's get some more mouse cable. What sort of creature is this? Its appearance give me the sh gives me the shivers. Um, I meant for fun. Why do I have so much stuff on my desk? Ah. Uh, The man in the picture is me. How is that possible? What's that place? Or what's that place? You see above ground? It looks like it. Can I not take it? Nah. Was there something here that I could... Oh, how did I get here? What is this place? Okay, nothing special. Nothing. Uh, nah. Should we go? I'm gonna start this way, I guess. Press right mouse button to exit. From here I can see outside, but the crack is too small to get through. I must find another way out. Nay! Oh, did I press right button? What did it say? Press right... Ah, okay, exit. I thought I could went through the hole if I clicked uh, right mouse button. Uh, why do I do this? No. Um, but I wanted to know about this body. I cannot jump. Oh, I can't jump. Awesome. I cannot help you. Sorry. Uh, this we're gonna go here. Oh, what is this? But it's fine if you have a, an exit this close. Uh, it would be more claustrophobic if you were just closed in completely. Uh, machinery. What are these gears for? It seems there is some huge machinery behind this wall. doesn't work. It seems that a gear is missing. I should. Oh no, what the fuck was that? 
What was that sound? Exactly. Oh, these are my feet. I need to turn up the volume. I need to be my slut. That, that's not even the correct shortcut to steal. Oh shit. Oh, there's gears here now? Where did it go? Are you down here? Ew! It's like alien! X. Okay. I think we're fine for now. Oh, saving. How do I... Uh, is that my inventory? Okay. Let's run back. Ah. So now everything's fine because I'm out. I'm free. The end. Shortest game in the world. Are they gonna lure me in with this pretty nature? Ah. I can jump. I love nature. So pretty, and I think we're too disconnected from the nature nowadays. I could live here, except for that alien creature, I guess. It's just like open world. Um, I was not prepared, but I see something. Ooh. You have found a secret! Oh, thank you! I don't know what I'm looking for though. Or where I'm going. There's something. Should we walk along the river? Should we look? Okay, there's nothing. Oh, it's me when I walk through it. Okay. Oh my god. What's going on? Oh, I'm stuck. Oh my god. No, no, no! Pretty anymore. <laughs> I don't want to live here anymore. They're gonna keep throwing meteors. <laughs> There's whispers. Down we go. Oh, I thought it was something I could pick up. Okay, no. I guess we can go. Oh shit, where do I go? Oh! <gasps> Should I not? Oh shit! <laughs> it was just a dream, the end. Maybe I should. Was I dreaming? Oh, what time is it? That dream, it was so realistic and disturbing. Everything I felt was so real. 
I'm so tired. I need to go in I need to go in the bathroom to freshen up. How much do you weigh? No. Uh nothing to interact with. Guess. Switch. Oh. I cannot pull up my curtains now. Okay. Ooh. So pretty. Very pretty apartment. I'm just checking to see what I can interact with. Copy back milk, eggs, juice, dish, soap, rat poison. Oh! Uh, no coffee? What is this place? Coffee is essential, you know? Full of antioxidants. Is this the bathroom? Tonight I find myself writing on the pages of my journal once more, hoping it, hoping it helps me to fall asleep and to find peace again. Nights are troubled by sudden and unexplainable awakenings more and more often. Immediately after, afterwards, bathe in sweat, I feel terribly tired and have an unpleasant feeling that I've experienced something upsetting that I don't remember. On second thoughts though, all of this could be due to recent events, the breakup with Jenny, the move, and finally my uncle Edgar's disappearance. The latter event in particular must have upset me more than I'd ever expected. Considering the unclear nature of the facts, what the newspaper reports is very strange indeed. What the newspaper report is there? Only God knows what happened to him. That uh, sentence. My new home hasn't helped to improve my situation. Perhaps it's just too early. I need more time. That drawing, though. No? Very nice. Jay, sorry. I clicked the wrong button. Turn on the lights. Oh, radio in the bathroom. I can't stop thinking about that dream. It was as if that strange object was calling me. I was feeling a deep primordial dis instinct that disturbed me. Coming! Who's at the door? Oh, it's probably the postman. Oh, your postman uh, rings the door? That's awfully sweet of him. Oh shit, which door? Is it this door? No, this is the wrong door. But I heard a car start. Okay, I think I moved myself to a better place. Sounds like a dead, but okay. Arthur, my dear nephew, if you're reading this letter, it means that I'm gone. I gave instructions to a close friend to deliver this message to you in the event that something bad should happen to me. In the last few years, we lost contact with, another, with one another. I know, and I'm sorry for that. My life changed a lot, and I am only a shadow of the man you knew when you were a child. I know that it was hard for you not knowing who your mother was, especially after your father's death. I have always been there for you, but I was going through a rough patch. I hope you can forgive me for that. As you know, I have never been married or had children, so I decided to leave you all my possessions, even though I don't own a lot. Your inheritance consists of my apartment and the old cabin in the mountains, which used to belong to your grandparents. This is all I have left. The apartment is situated in the building at, at number 13 Oldwood Street in Winter Falls. It's quite old and in bad condition, but I could not afford anything better. Amongst my belongings, you will probably find some things you won't be able to make sense of. I ask you to discard everything without questioning. Without question. I'm referring in particular to my manuscripts. Manuscript scripts. They are very personal and, as you will perhaps have been told, writing was my only solace in my darkest days. I ask you therefore not to read them and not to delve into my research. Get rid of everything so that nothing can be found. You will find the apartment key in this envelope, do what you desire with it, but I beg you to respect my last wish. I've always loved you, your uncle Edgar. What a nice and uncle! 
It's a letter from my uncle Edgar. It seems that he left his old flat in town to me. I didn't expect that, but I'd better go there immediately. Really? Immediately? I'm about Ed. That shortcut for steam is weird. I should call Jennifer, but not now. I just have. I just want to have a chill day. Chill day? Oh. My cassette player. I'm not going anywhere without that. Okay, good thing. Oh, you got a new. The land of pain. That's my new computer. It cost me a small fortune. It will allow me to work more often from home though. And I get a cabin and an apartment. Car keys. That's my collection of action books. I still need to arrange them on my bookshelves. Why do you have toys? Do you have a kid? But we're leaving! I love the warmth of the fire when it's cold outside. Yeah, but we're leaving. <laughs> the clock that Jenny gave me many years ago, it didn't work, but I ke I'm keeping it in remembrance of her. Remembrance, but... Hmm. We'll see what happened to you two. She's alive, because you still have to call her, so something. Let's go check what was in this dark room. <laughs> okay, nothing good. See ya. I think we're fine then. Let's go. Can't go out with the pajamas on. I must wear something more appropriate. Sorry. Let's go put on some real clothes. There we go. Nice jeans and everything. It will be a long trip. Edgar's flat is many hours away. But you said in town. It's like it's five minutes. Uncle Edgar disappeared more than a week ago. Yet I just received a letter from him only to find out that I'm his sole heir. It's such a long time since I last saw him. I was only a child at that time, but he must have been fond enough of me to leave me his possessions as a legacy. I have never seen where he moved to in the last few years, but have, after having driven for many hours, I have finally reached my destination. The address given in the letter led me here. The uh, to this old building in the worst district in Winter Falls. The apartment should be up there on the top floor. Oi. Oi, Uncle Edgar. There's no reason to go this way. Oh, no. Oh, I cannot pick that up, though. Oh no, why would people do this? Nah. Oh, this is too bad. Here it is, this is Edgar's flat. I didn't check here though. Yes! I have found a secret! What about this? Nah. No, no gnomes, only statues. The lights were on all this time. <laughs> oh, it's you. What the fuck? Hey, I saw you. Oh, I'm gonna catch you. I don't have a flashlight. Were you here? There's mold and dirt everywhere. Did I kill Edgar ever clean? What the fuck? I want to go here. Uh -huh. Oh, that's the other apartment? Or no, that's a mirror. Nah. 
Oh, that's the kitchen. Uh, okay, let's just start from the beginning. We entered here. Enter telephone. There's no phone line. Of course not. Can we turn on? Doesn't work. Okay, don't ever touch your piano if you don't know how to pay play. A page from, from Edgar's journal. Finally, after many years, I returned to the old family home. Unfortunately, when I arrived, I saw that nothing of the house was left. Everything had been reduced to a sad pile of rubble. However, it was there, among all the debris, that I found this, that strange chest. Although clearly very ancient, it was exquisitely crafted, made from fine wood and decorated with strange geometric symbols that I had never seen before. At first I didn't notice this, but when I was a child, as, as when I was a child, I was used to seeing all kinds of bizarre, bizarre objects around the house, found who knows where, found who knows where by my father during one of his countless journeys. Oh, found who knows where by my father. Okay. The chest, however, had something sinister and mysterious about it, so I decided to extract it from the debris and try to open it. I hope that writing this journal will help me overcome my shock at my discovery, because what I found inside that terrible chest is not something that could belong to this world. Uh -huh. The dryer is locked, so we need a key. Oh, that's just a... What happened to this mirror? Oh, that's just a can. So there's a piano. I don't think we can do anything with. We're gonna check in here. Switch is on. Ew. There's something metal that's sparkling under this grate. With the right tool, I should be able to open it. Aha! Uh -huh. We're gonna find a key there. Yeah. Edgar could have cleaned a little. So we need a tool now. Ooh. What? <sighs> what the fuck? Oh my god, I was not prepared. Uh, that was actually very scary. Oh, it's not open. What the fuck? Oh, I was not prepared for that. No handle. Okay. Mechanism. S that there's a strange mechanism fitted into the wood. Something has been removed, showing the gears. Oh. Oh. This is open now. I look down way too much when I play. Go through. Oh, you, what's under the desk? What's this? Ew, what's that disgusting substance? It smells terrible. I don't like the idea at all, but I can try to get through that hole. Nay, not yet. We. Okay, not openable. Openable, is that a word? Okay, we can do this now. <coughs> Ah. Open. Doesn't work. Food. Oh, man. Hey. Yeah, why did you eat that? Oh, that food was spoiled. I shouldn't have eaten it. And no. <laughs> I did. I'm painting. There's a strange crack beneath the painting. Maybe I can move it. Okay. So. No, it's gonna open with the statue if I find it. 
There is a terrible smell here. How could my uncle live under these conditions? I don't know. Well, I guess this is it. <laughs> But I didn't find a statue yet. <laughs> 